Hello everyone, Scott with Heritage Farms. Hey, here it is, it's Friday afternoon. Took a day of vacation, and what am I working on? Well, first off, let me tell you what I really like here. This is our A1 Terminator Sprayer, A1 Mist Sprayers. Let me tell you what, man, Ponca, Nebraska. I tell you what, these guys just make a great product. We have just absolutely loved this sprayer. It's done an excellent job for uh, our size of pecan orchard. You know, you just can't get to the top of those trees. So man, you need something like this that you can get it up there. So this has been great. You know, it's a 60 gallon sprayer and everything's been awesome, but we had a little bit of a problem. So we've had this thing, I don't know, I'm gonna say two years now. Uh, yeah, at least two years. Maybe going on three, how time flies. But all right, let me show you what the little problem was. So we had an issue where it's got a switch where you can flip it on and off. Well, there's a solenoid right there that actually controls the spraying. So if you look up here, oh, wait a minute, here it is. Here's the actual spray controller. And you got one that controls the pitch of the sprayer as it goes up or down right here. So you can make that go up, down, articulate back and forth which is great. And then you have another one right here that turns the uh, actual sprayer itself on because it's PTO driven. So once you get the PTO going, it's fueling the pump, everything is churning and this thing is off to the races. But uh, so the nice thing is that little solenoid makes it where you can flip the switch and you can turn off your spray rig as you go in between trees. Well, that switch went bad for whatever reason. You know, stuff happens, man. Well, let me tell you what. So I called uh, these guys up and I think the guy's name was Dan. I believe I spoke to over there. If I mispronounced that or got it wrong, I apologize guys, but just one of the nicest guys around. And uh, you know, I really like a company that stands behind their product. And uh, th these guys were just so helpful on the phone, told me exactly how to fix it, what I needed to do to fix it and then sent me the parts to get the job accomplished. And I mean, got the parts out like same day. I mean, it wasn't like a day later or two days later that the parts showed up. So uh, really appreciate that. So a big, huge shout out to A1 Mist Sprayers. And uh, you know, you've seen some of the other videos. We'll put a couple of links in here. Also guys, uh, if you're in the market for an A1 Mist Sprayer, uh, I'll put a link into the uh, description field and also in the upper right hand corner of the screen here, we'll put a link. And you guys, uh, you know, if you decide to buy one, just mention to them that Heritage Farms uh, sent you. I would greatly appreciate it. And uh, let me tell you what, I have no regrets. I would buy another one in a heartbeat. And uh, we'll show you some footage here. Also, we'll put a uh, clip in here of this thing at work. But if you have a pecan orchard or any type of orchard, this is a great thing to do, use. And uh, not only that, you can also use it for even spraying pastures because you can actually turn this thing down to the ground and it'll shoot 30, 40 feet across the pasture also. So if you wanted to put insecticides out that way, you could do that. Uh, a lot of functionality. I've heard uh, that you can even use them for like spraying cattle. Not sure about that one yet. Would love to see that in action kind of thinking about how that might help with fly control or something, but uh, more to follow on that. So anyway, that is kind of what we're working on, but uh, I'm gonna jump in here to get this thing accomplished. There's like four hoses that connect to that unit. So I'm gonna take all these uh, hoses off, see if I can get the unit off, see if we can get it replaced and get this thing back running. More to follow. Okay. Well, here we are, I don't know, we're about an hour and a half later. Wasn't too bad, once you kind of take your time, you disconnect the hoses one by one, figure things out. So we got the uh, solenoid off, was able to replace it. I always, I'll take a sharper, it's one thing I do, and I always write the date on there when I work on something so I can kind of see when it was replaced and what. But uh, all in all, Pretty good little repair. I think we're back in business. So uh, we'll see when next time we hook it up and fire it up, but uh, I think I got it going and uh, I think we should be okay. So uh, anyway, just so you know, there you go.